The president of the International Federation of the Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies has announced the establishment of the Red Family Fund to honor humanitarian aid workers who have died in the line of duty. Kate Forbes told the organization's General Assembly in Geneva that aid workers find themselves working under increasingly difficult conditions that include not only an escalation in conflicts in the Middle East and elsewhere, but also a decrease in observance of international law. Global conflicts have escalated, endangering civilians and our volunteers, making it even more difficult to deliver humanitarian aid, Forbes said. So far this year, 30 of the group's 16 million humanitarian aid workers worldwide have died in the line of duty, she said. The surge in violence against humanitarian workers underscores a decline in the adherence to international humanitarian law and poses a direct threat to our mission, the IFRC president said. She described each loss as a deep wound, but said the deaths would not weaken the organization's resolve to directly address these crises. Mirjana Spaljeric Egger, president of the International Committee of the Red Cross, told the gathering that humanitarian workers find themselves doing their jobs across the globe amid a world shaped by armed conflicts and political turmoil. The Red Family Fund, according to the IFRC's website, honors volunteers and staff from the Red Cross and Red Crescent Society who die in the line of duty and provides a mechanism for one-time financial assistance to the families they leave behind. This is a tangible step that demonstrates our commitment to honor those who care for others, Forbes said.